here's what I want to talk about first. And this is the triangle of quality, and it's in your book, but I put it up here. So how many of you have heard the expression, um, if you want to do something, you fast, cheap, and good, pick two. Does that sound familiar? Okay, so the basic idea of that is if you want something fast and cheap, what's it not going to be? Okay, if you want something fast and good, it won't be cheap. Okay, so this is really true. And for any of you who, you know, you need a fancy meal prepared in two hours and brought to your house and catered, well, you know, if you want that to happen, who are you going to call? It's not going to be cheap, right? So I'm going to apply this to film production because this is deep and important. And before we start the lines of budgeting, we need to think about this. So look at this. I rewrote this. Fast, cheap, good. Good is your story. It's the film you're making. Fast, the schedule. Cheap, the budget. So of these three corners of this triangle of quality, and we call this a triangle of quality, a change that you make to one corner will affect the other two. There is no combating that. So if someone calls you up and I just got a call, you know, oh, could you guys bid on this job? We need someone to create these short videos. And you know what? It has to premiere on November 29th. What? Really? That's, that's like really soon. They want something really fast. It's either not going to be cheap or not going to be good. So let's think about this a little more deeply. When I say story, I also mean the concept. So if your concept for a film is that you want to be the next Ken Burns, and you want to spend, you know, five years going through all the archives. Let, let, let's say the, the film is going to be about um, the Golden Gate Bridge, right? He did a great film on the Brooklyn Bridge. Now you're doing the Golden Gate Bridge. And you're going to find every archive photograph. You, you're going to go through all, everything. It's going to be years and years of research, right? Well, that concept has already defined a lot of things about your production. You're going to spend a lot of money on archival photos. You're going to spend a lot of time researching. Right? So here's another concept. I'm going to follow Bill Clinton around for one week. It's a very important week. He's going back to his hometown to, uh, I don't know, open this wonderful new preschool named after him. I'm just making up. One week of shooting. Look, my concept has defined a schedule, which now is going to help me define my budget. So what I'm saying is, the moment you come up with your idea for your film, there are ramifications in terms of the schedule and the budget. And if one of the things, you, you, I'm guessing because of the conference that we're at, right, there are some of you who are first-time documentary filmmakers. And you may not have a lot of money right now for your film. You might not have any. So your idea is, I need something I can shoot with my own camera. Okay, well, look at our example of Made in LA. This was a film that told the story of three women who were immigrant workers working in garment factories in downtown Los Angeles. So Alma Dana and I were working in other jobs. She bought a camera way back when. It was like a PAL PD-150. And we could go on weekends or go around our work, and we could shoot it. Now, if we lived in Houston, but we wanted to film that story in LA, and we still had no money, that would be a problem, right? The concept would not allow us to do that without spending a bunch of money on travel. So all of those things, I'm really framing this. The moment you come up with a story or concept, all of these things start to fall out from it. 